It's a new type of vaccine not approved for use in humans until now. Traditional vaccines often use viruses that have been cultured and deactivated, but this one is packed with messenger RNA. It's the genetic code of the virus, a slightly different version of our own human DNA. But it's not the entire genetic profile of the virus, or helix, that's injected into our cells. It's only a small part of it, the part that controls the so-called spike protein of the virus. It's the mushroom-shaped protein that sits on the outside and gives the virus its characteristic shape. Once the strands of messenger RNA enter our muscle cells, their genetic code is scanned. And piece by piece, they're translated into spike protein, much like stringing a pearl necklace. This translation process, the production of spike protein is very rapid. And since it's happening in many cells at the same time, the protein builds up quickly. The proteins then leave the cells and are exposed to the immune system. There are unactivated B cells in the lymph nodes and on their surface antibodies that in a way are yet to mature. Overall, there are millions of these naive B cells and the spike protein will overshoot most of them. But somewhere among them, there's a B cell with antibodies that match and the spike protein gets caught. Once this connection is made, the B cell activates and regenerates, which in turn creates new B cells. With each new generation of cells and antibodies, they improve its evolution in a mini format. Eventually, the antibodies are perfected and the B cells start releasing the antibodies, which are swept up into our bloodstreams. If we then become infected with the coronavirus, the perfect set of antibodies stand ready. They'll attach to the spike protein of the virus, which blocks it, and it means the virus can't enter our cells to regenerate.